front row it is. Make welcome, Darby Bishop! <laughs> 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 Yeah. Might actually take it off. Hi, I'm Darby, and going by the dictionary, that makes me one half of a very happily married elderly couple. <laughs> <laughs> or if you prefer the urban dictionary, I'm a tall, sexy, blonde female that you want to spend the rest of your life with. I'm pretty sure my dad chose the name for his love of horse racing, though. I remember growing up and thinking the Derby Day was like my second birthday. <laughs> I got to hang out with Dad and his mates, yelling at the TV, and if I was lucky, he'd ask if he can borrow some money from my piggy bank. <laughs> it really made me feel like I was the boss of the house. I pushed it a bit too far though, and he really got into, and I pushed him into the Kentucky Derby, uh, the NASCAR Derby, and even the French Derby. He went broke and had to stop gambling. I'm back to one birthday. <laughs> We moved to Darwin when I was 10 though. It was really difficult leaving my family and friends behind. It was particularly hard on grandma. But I said to her, don't worry, we'll see you in the NT. <laughs> my parents decided to leave the big city for a more rural, calm life amongst the cyclones, serial killers and crocodiles. <laughs> in fact, we had a crocodile at my high school. He walked up from the beach one day wearing the school uniform of our missing exchange job. <laughs> we figured he just wanted to fit in. <laughs> but there was really no need. He was the coolest reptile in the school. It was in his blood. <laughs> he excelled at PE, told us all about his diet in home ec, and we were really impressed by his confidence at graduation when he just walked up to the homecoming queen, snatched her away and dragged her out of the room. <laughs> I have no idea what happened to those two. <laughs> I really loved art class when I was in uh, high school, so I moved back to Melbourne. I did a four-year degree in design. It took me seven. <laughs> it was just like high school, except every class was art class, and our teachers encouraged us to smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> Graduating is really hard for designers, though, because there really just aren't too many jobs. For every fashion designer, you've got at least a hundred kids in Malaysia trying to take your job. <laughs> I did find work though, and I fit right in. It turns out being intoxicated is just part of the career. Like, everyone knows that salesmen wine and dine their clients to sign those contracts. Us designers, we drink cheap goon because the clients won't pay our bills. <laughs> and for every line of cocaine a salesman will do to meet his KPIs, I'll take a magic mushroom to help me keep creative. <laughs> I mean, just check out these lamps, they're one of my best designs. <laughs> I do worry about living up to my name though. I don't want to disappoint Dad, you know. So next week I'm going to get my hair bleached, and if anyone knows a good doctor for a sniff and tuck, let me know. I'll be moving to Thailand soon to try and find my perfect Australian husband. <laughs> Thank you everyone, it's been great.